Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Bays, IT Director for the North American Eagle, and today I'm bringing you a first look at the brand new Lenovo W550S. Now this is available for purchase this week, it's brand new in Lenovo's portable workstation line. Now this machine is absolutely incredible because as it packs an incredible amount of power into an incredibly small form factor, making this one of the most powerful machines you can ever own. Now this machine, it has a 15 and a half inch 3K touchscreen in display, which looks absolutely stunning when you use it. It includes a fifth generation Intel i7 Broadwell processor. You can't buy that on any other computer yet. It also includes 16 gigs of RAM, a half terabyte SSD, and the very latest NVIDIA Quadro graphics card. And it runs the very latest Microsoft Windows operating system, Windows 8.1. Enough of that, let's get down to opening the box. Set this to the side. And let's open this up. Now I'm going to set this on its side so um, everyone, so you can see. And let's take a look at what we have inside the box. Now, of course, right in front we have the computer, but for the moment I'm going to set this to the side. I am going to pull out out the box though. Lots of styrofoam. Looks like it's well packaged in there. Nice little spacer there to go inside. Now inside, of course, we have our AC adapter. We have our power brick. And we have our battery. Now, something I would like to note out real quick. This power brick is incredibly small. If, if any of you have ever owned a previous generation Lenovo W Series laptop, you will understand just how small this power brick really is and how much these have really come down in size. And of course, it uses a brand new reversible connector, standard on all new Lenovo computers. So let's pull out the battery now and actually get it into the computer. Now this is an extended battery, so oh, it will last longer than uh, what you might get out of uh, standard size. Set all of this back in the box. And we'll set this to the side for the moment. So now, let's get down to the meat and potatoes. Now, just uh, immediate impressions like holding this thing, this is incredibly thin and light, and uh, it, it's really nice. Um, I can't wait to get out of the bag and really see it. Um, of course, there's security seal, so let's break through that. And pull it out of the bag. And again, just um, first impressions were right on. This is a really thin machine. And I'll take you through a tour of all the ports in just a minute. We'll take a look at all those, and we'll power the machine up. Uh, but first, let's get the battery in place. Set it down. This the table. Slide it in. And there are two separate locks on both sides. They just automatically snapped in there. Now, let's get the machine open. And uh, you can see right there, it's got a full, full keyboard, including number pad, beautifully large trackpad. Again, if you're coming from a, a previous generation Lenovo OW series, uh, you will immediately notice the massive size of that trackpad. Again, you, you can see that 15 and a half inch 3K a touch screen. Uh, really excited to turn this on and uh, give it a try. But uh, first, let's go through a tour of the different ports on here. Uh, so coming up on the left side, you, uh, you have your Ethernet port and SD card slot. You have uh, headphone jack. 
VGA port. You've got a USB E port right here. And again, that reversible charging port that I talked about earlier that comes standard on all new Lenovo laptops. Uh, on the back side, there isn't anything, just the battery. Coming around to the right, you've got a Kensington lock, a series of vents, you've got a display port, and two additional USB E ports, with one of them being a charging port. So even when the computer is turned off and closed, you can still charge your devices. And coming around to the front, uh, there's nothing else. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to open it up and we're going to turn it on. Now this is a first boot, so it might take a little bit longer than expected. And as it turns out, the battery is dead. So I'm going to plug it in and we'll be right back. So we've got the computer all started up now, running Windows 8.1, and as you can see, it's a beautiful on this 3K A touch screen. You can swipe right up, see all of the apps that are loaded on this machine by default. And of course, I can load up the Windows desktop. Cancel.